I want to ask you about Seven another viral left. clip of mine. I don't know if you ever see it, but I got Adidas bucket head on, and I'm saying, stop calling your brothers and your sister, your brothers every time you get in the shit. Um, the game ended up calling me. He used it on his album. Um, the album that just dropped. Um, yeah, you heard me. The game put me on his album. I made a lot of albums last year. I was on Jasmine Sullivan album. Money bag yo put me in his video, obviously, and I mean, how did that work out? You know, I was at the BET Awards. Mm -hmm. You know what you be doing. I like that shit, though. That's why I be warning you for calls. Hey, I, no, I saw Moneybag, yo. Um, I'm talking to everybody. Everybody moving, man. I know it's a fast mixture. But my voice raspy. Yeah, mine too. And, and I made <laughs> sure. When I saw bro, because he came over, he was, they were talking to probably like, they were talking like two, two strips down, like two uh, media companies down. Like, we're all in here in, here in range. And I saw that he had dropped. He had put uh, the clip of me and Carmen Karma in one of his music videos, recent music videos. Mm -hmm. You know, and the shit was going up. He was talking about because the girl was, uh, it was Carmen Karma, and she was talking about that she would pay Moneybag Yo 100K to fuck her. Right, I remember well, that. Well, he was, he had in the video to where he was wa looking like he was watching it, and he was pretty much saying like 100K. You gonna have to pay more than that. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, Pretty right. much. You yeah, know, put, you put your shit in the but, song. But but nonetheless, like you put the shit in the song. I see the nigga. That's all I wanted to talk to him about. Was like, hey man, that shit was that was fly, man. Do your thing. How'd that go, man? I said, hey, money bag. And I know my voice is raspy, man. Uh -huh. I speak up loud. Right. That's how I am, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm real like that. Everybody yeah. moving around me. We moving. Yeah. Money bag, man, nigga. Kept it moving. Whoa, he looked at you and kept it moving? Kept it moving, man, he ain't wanna look that way. That's deep. This is the crazy part, this is gonna fuck your head up, Lord. Moneybag just dropped a song, well, I don't know, what is it called? You know what it's called? The track, the tight, the, uh, the uh, track. Whatever the song is, in the chorus of the song, right? He says, why you something, something, why you being weird to me? That's mine. Now, people didn't told me from right to left, that I did not come up with weird or being weird. Now look, in the, on the East Coast, we say weird as a um as a diss almost. You're a weirdo. He being weird. We might call something weird that's not weird, but the fact that it happened is just like that. Him ignoring you is weird as shit to a Philly person. That's how we talk. You feel me? So when I say why you being weird to me, it has to be mine because you wouldn't use that in that type of sentence. You wouldn't say weird to me in that way. You know what I'm saying? That's why why you being weird to me is mine. That's July of 2021. That's mine. It's the most viral video I ever did. And I thought he would respect it because shit, I kept it real for the nigga, man. When this little dumbass bitch sitting up over here on the couch and saying a little weird shit, she's saying shit, nigga. I still stood up for the culture and stood up for us as real niggas. Like, okay, well, shit, hey, church, shit ever go down and shit ever get fucked up and nigga, because we all go through that. Sometimes it can happen to anybody. Uh. Nigga, that honey cake gonna look real motherfucking good tomorrow. So I made sure that you know if you, you ever need something in your pocket, church. Not saying that you do. I'm not saying that you're hurting, but let's keep it real as real niggas, man. Cause nigga, we all get there sometimes, nigga, where a nigga can use a hundred dollars. I'm taking a hundred bands to fuck. Is this if anybody had the nigga, idea? Nigga use a hundred dollars. Fuck me today nigga. for a hundred thousand. Let's not get it fucked easy. up. I won't say anything. We can sign on done disclosures. And, and, and I'm at home. sure. And I'm sure it's a money bag, Kate man. Phelps, hey, no disrespect to you, loved one. It's nothing but love, my nigga. Peace and prosperity. But nigga, I'm sure there was a time in your life where nigga, sometime I don't give a fuck. You was a kid, nigga. You could have used a hundred dollars. Fuck all that. Bucks. It's corny so not to speak. That's corny. But, that's that's what we saying. When I seen him. Mind you, Moneybag dates a friend of mine. Ari's my friend. I don't know him through her. Like, I've never, you know, met him this or anything. This chick was standing right there doing rap TV, nigga, and I didn't even say nothing to her out of respect. But I ain't say nothing, nigga, out of respect, and I ain't even see the nigga yet. I, his girlfriend is my friend, but when we first started being friends, I don't even think they dated. If they did, it wasn't public. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm not that kind of person. I'm that, like, how he is. So I don't... If I meet my man friends, I don't look them in the eye. I don't look at them. If I meet my friend's man, I don't engage the conversation unless he starts it or she sparks it or whatever. But I saw him coming with a big entourage, and I was walking out that door, and I walked right in the middle of all of them, and I was like, money, babe, what's up? And he, I think he might have said, I don't know. Whatever it was, was like, get the fuck out of my face. And I know I wasn't tripping because when I turned around, all my niggas' faces was twisted up. So I say to him, oh, that's why you being weird to me. That's me. But when I think about it, 
One thing I learned a long time ago about the internet, especially if you view chases, we've been dropping jewels the whole pod, the whole podcast. I keep so y'all can know we dropping a jewel, but just in general, when you see your views, let's say you get a hundred views on something, you might as well call it two hundred because when we see stuff, we go. You see that shit? So usually if it's two people, both of them people seeing your shit. So it's like being that he is in a relationship with somebody that thinks I'm hilarious. I know you seen me. I know you know that's mine. What's the big deal of speaking? Like, that's crazy. But I don't know. If I um were to be in the same, like, vicinity of him again, I would say the same shit. And I would say, you didn't speak when I saw you or whatever. But I, I try to be a realist about shit. Like, it's a lot going on or whatever. But if we lock eyes and you give me the, right you here. smell like shit face, then you hey, just man, don't want to talk to me. That's what corny you're shit. Like in that situation, I just got done. Uh, talking to Finesse two times. That's my nigga. Mm-hmm. That was a real solid I'll nigga, homie. He stopped by. He fucked with a nigga. I I'll know fuck with his he music. fucked with Money Bag, yo. They about to get ready to go on tour. Shout out to they tour. Shit like that that's about to even really go, go on, man, for them, man. I commend them and respect them. But for you to come up, man, shit, you see Finesse there, man, shit, you uh, wrapped your arms around him every time. I say, hey, man, Money Bag, hey, man. Yeah. Nothing, and that, and Maybe that's cool. Church, I don't want your day. money. I don't really gotta smoke a joint with you. But nigga, if you gonna use my shit, hey, church, be a real nigga and just acknowledge it, nigga. Shit, we you ain't gotta put it on camera like you said. He ain't gotta do nothing but shit, man. Send a nigga a text and say, hey, I know what I know. And this- I know how to catch a telegram. It's cool. It ain't gotta go. <laughs> it ain't gotta go to nobody else. I'm a real one about it, man. Like, but shit, be like, yeah, thing. I did use it. Did you hear what Laura said in the beginning? Like, we gotta. I don't know how much you've experienced, but when I got on Why You Being, when I did the Why You Being Weird to Me thing, right, on Twitter, they tweeted me, tweeted me, like October. That came out July. They tweeted me on October. Or some month after that time. When was the Sony thing? We had to chase Sony down for the money. Uh, September, October? How was that? Fucking with Sony. <laughs> I was acting like a gorilla. I don't know. They probably don't never call me again. October. So they tweeted me October, right? Um, and this is important that you know about the apps. Pay attention, content creators. You got Twitter, you got Facebook, you got Instagram, you got TikTok, you got Snapchat, right? So this is why apps. you can't miss Twitter. You can't. A lot of people overlook Twitter, especially and when I talk. It's like me and you come from the same thing. We wasn't on the internet like that before it made us money. So some mm-hmm. of this stuff is brand new. Plus, we street people, so it's like, do I want to call a lawyer? Laura made me make a fucking Twitter. I ain't gonna lie. You I have to have a Twitter Laura. chart. I, I'm gonna be you honest, like just no, no bullshit, no like throwing her roses, fuck all that. Like she really did give me the game. Like nah, nigga, you gotta have a Twitter, bro. Like, it doesn't and matter listen, what's going on. Even though you made him a Twitter, I guarantee you, it's some clip in the corner of Twitter with five hundred thousand views, a million views, and it's him talking. And we would never know, you know what I mean? And in that thread, it could be all motherfuckers from the UK. Everybody just got introduced to Sharp, so it's cool. But it would be great if you motherfuckers would tag people sometimes. But whatever. So being that we in, because the thing about it is, the end of the day, Sharp. Most people that do what we doing, they are sitting in the house trying to figure out what to say cool. They think about some cool shit on Wednesday, they don't even film till next Tuesday and they remember it. These motherfuckers ain't got personalities, they don't have no swag, they don't have no creativity, they don't have no brain, they don't have no spirit or soul. So for the most part, 2023, everybody sees something and they redo it. The biggest TikTok people right now, they got millions of uh, followers and views, the ones that got all the branding deals, almost every fucking video they got is somebody else's. Laura, my mom got a TikTok, I had to delete it because she was cussing the motherfuckers out. They doing your shit and they ain't saying your name. She ain't even understand it. It's like Demona. I've watched a million people today use your voice and not say your name. They don't even write your name in the box, Demona. In the comments of all the posts, you're going to see a page with one follower on it. That's my mother cussing y'all out. My mom mad about that shit. That's our <laughs> money. Send that fucking money. But in October, they tweet me, tweet me, tweet me, right? How does it feel to be on the biggest album that came out today? So I knew nothing came out. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? So I had to research. There's a guy named Hetty One. Shout out to Hetty One with your fine ass. We friends now. But he's huge in the UK. His album got a Drake feature on it. And smack dab in the middle of it is my voice for fucking a minute and 20 seconds. That motherfucker ain't call me, follow me, look at me, nothing. And those UK bitches that are fans of mine, shout out to y'all. I love y'all. They like, Damona, you're on this album. What's up? So when I call Sony, it's like, yo, I'm on the album. What's up? Yeah. And it was that easy. They sent me. I, I was paid within three days. We and and they said, hello, cheers. Excuse me. Hetty told me to, because I got, listen, he tweeted me. I tweeted him. They said, how does it feel to be a great album? And then there was other tweets. I found that one, quoted it, and put, as a black woman with kids, a single mother, it feels good, but it would have felt better if somebody, and he had to respond. He said, I've been looking for you. I said, well, cheers. 
Cheers, mate. He yeah. said, go ahead and call Sony. We gonna yeah. handle everything. And, and run that motherfucking everything. bag. Bring that money. But then you got a nigga like the game. The game called sick and I put it on my album. He said, I ain't giving you no money, but I will put your name under it. And I said, yes. You know why, Laura? Because I fucking came up off the documentary. That nigga, like I was a fan today. I'm a I'm a hip hop head first. So it's like, yeah, you can put me on your fucking album so I can say I'm on. Yeah, some plays you gotta, know how, yeah, you gotta know how to just make the play. And he was willing to put to my name. Play. So now everybody know that's me. I'm on track 16. What we going to do? But um, that clip went viral. That's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, oh, yeah. Reverse. That's why you use Twitter. Twitter connected me with the UK that fast. That wouldn't have happened on any other app. Fast forward. Um, the clip, I say, stop calling your brothers when you get in the shit in the street. You, you, you get to something at the gas station with a nigga. You feel disrespected, you call your cousin, and these niggas beefing all summer about it. Them bodies is on you. Them lives are, that's on you. Some people call me and pick me, but I stand on my statement. Being from North Philly, being from the hood, I've seen real live wars start with 20 people dead over a nigga little sister walked to the store and somebody said something to her and it was out of, niggas don't clear shit up and rumble. This ain't 67. You got the box bullets now. Don't know, this the most, this generation right now, these niggas that's like 13 to probably 23, 24, they don't, yeah. they never been in fights. Not one. But I be seeing Not these one. niggas with poles bigger than their lives. What? I be like, nigga, beams, they know what it all is. Get the switch on it, everything. Bro. Instead of figuring out, hey, my nigga, if a nigga got a problem with you, homie, just handle that shit. Bro. I don't give a fuck how a nigga handle their business. I just don't like how niggas put that shit on the internet. All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. And you know what that means? That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K.